Uh, this is a common dilemma for people because when people, are, everybody starts with the mind and trying to use, the, use their mind to understand something and to attend something, to achieve something. This is wrong, okay? You cannot use your mind to transcend your mind because the mind can only function after the body senses begins to, uh, to be animated. And the mind, within the boundary of your senses, the mind cannot transcend the sensation, okay? So, so whatsoever you do with the mind will be nothing but your intellectual uh, speculation or imagination. You know, why do you meditate? Who is meditating? You know, what are you looking for? Clarify the scenario first. The vipassana is for people to learn, as I said earlier, to realize, to guide your focus of mind, your mental focus on the nose, nose to your throat. That is, you put your mental focus in one spot so that, so that the mind will not disturb you anymore. Okay, that is to calm down your mind. That's the first step for people who are not mature enough to understand the pointers or the essence of the teachings, you know, the wisdom from beyond the mind. So that's why uh, from traditions to traditions, all different traditions, all the different gurus and masters, for them to impart this knowledge to people, they face the common challenge. Everybody as a kindergarten student, you know, they all start with the mind. All right. They want to have this knowledge in the form of a conceptual understanding. But if anything conceptual is still of the mind. It's of the intellect. Intellect is the claw of the mind holding people back. You know? So that's, that is why they give people uh, very simple exercises. You know? For them, in the hope, they can learn to recognize the mind. Once you can recognize your mind, you can, make a, you can then make a difference about it. So this methodology, this prana dynamics I'm trying to teach you, one of the key, key essence is once your fascia is activated, you can recognize the focus of your mind. You know how to deflame your mind so that your, your unconsumed mental energy can then have a better chance to come fluent with your body energy throughout your fascia system, okay? And then you're not an individual no more because there is no ego. There's no mind that which distorts and uh, distorts you from the real, you know, uh, perception of the essence of the teachings, from the teachers. You see? But the thing is that people are so very stubborn. They are still in the mind, and uh, once the, the teachers are about to disappear, to pass away, they panic. So they formalize the, the teacher's words, they formalize the teacher's uh, prescribed their practices, and formalize it, institutionalize it, and religionalize it in accord with their imagination. Okay? So this is why, this is why it's, a, it's important for you to, there's no escape from this, okay? So once you can recognize your mind, you can then release your mind to some extent. Okay, then you are not bound by this ego. You are not bound by this personality. Like the essence of the Buddha's teachings. You know, for people who are bound by the mind, it's called Loki or Loka. Someone with a personality. Okay, ordinary people. They cannot possibly understand what he is trying to teach. So, that's why he gives them the simple precepts, rules, okay, homeworks, you know for them to learn to recognize the mind, so hopefully one of them will be able to settle down their mind and be able to feel from the opening of the heart, you know, what he was talking about. So once you can walk out of the shadow of your mind, dissolute your mind, become a nobody, and then there's nobody, there's no ego, there's no personality. So there's someone without a personality, it's called a loka, okay, or a loki. A loki is, is, is are the ones who are ready for the true teachings. Make sense? Okay, not for you to be bound by the 
the philosophy of traditions or legends. Yeah, like uh, I, I want to become a Buddha, all right? I want to learn, I want to meditate. Yeah, well, you don't know what you're looking for. You're still in your imagination. You, know, you haven't made the very first step yet. Make sense? Understand me? So if you can find the balance, release your body, release your body tensions, then there's a chance for you to release your mind, baptize yourself internally, baptize yourself with the release, the mental energy to come flowing through your fascia. And then you are not an individual. You become in one with this uh, energy body. This is what prana dynamics for. I'm getting you to harmonize yourself with this energy body through tension modulation, through internal breathing. Okay? So that I can help you to lay a good foundation for you to begin with the true spiritual journey from inside of your mind body in this life. <laughs>